Uh, hi guys welcome to another interesting video uh, in the market opens so uh, this week i thought it was going to be uh, plain and simple but the market decided you know what uh, news came out out of nowhere uh, yesterday and uh, it disrupted the market which is nice a nice thing and a, or a bad thing depending on how you look at it depending on the position you are positions you had opened uh, some of them might have gone even higher some of them had uh, have dropped below uh, maybe probably a stop loss and all that but anyway don't worry and don't panic so i'm here to explain to you what uh the johnson and johnson news uh really did to the market <clears throat> so you need to understand a few things here and there so as you can see i'm opening i have opened the u.s government 10-year bonds uh so these are the returns so as you can previously see yesterday so this is a daily chart if you can see this can particular candlestick for yesterday you can see it dropped significantly even if it was going to the upside it was pushing towards the upside because uh the johnson and johnson news had not been released but once it was released you can see a very huge pullback and until uh, today uh, you can see the it has not japan it's around the area of support and resistance around this point so what does that mean uh you can see everything european stock features mixed as jnj vaccine news blends inflation and uh, uh, the other thing you should notice is uh for those of you who keep uh, an eye on this inflation rate uh previously it was at 1.4 now it's currently at 2.60 so let me as you can see uh from january 1.4 then uh the next month uh let's see january 2021 uh, the next quarter now currently we are at 2.6 so as you can see inflation keeps going up and uh if uh, now this is where new trade ideas start coming in so uh once we have these trade ideas so these trade ideas are what are what are going to be coming through if the government 10 year bonds keep on uh slumping towards the downside then now inflation becomes a major uh moving point a major moving sorry where is it a major moving point in the market which which, which it is uh you'll start seeing inve investors putting their money into solid assets uh if this continue to go down uh depending on how the trend will be if they continue going down then investors will and definitely will start putting their money where uh the hedge uh to hedge in against inflation as you can see currently the purchasing power of uh, the of uh, the dollar uh, is losing at 2.6 percent inflation means uh, the purchasing power goes down by 2.6 percent so uh, things you should look out for are something like silver something like silver is a is a very good thing to look out for even if silver as you can see it has it is in consolidation a very huge consolidation if you ask me so where is this uh yeah the consolidation on silver is huge so it is trading on sideways not up not down but uh silver is one is one of uh, tool to uh, use against a hedge against inflation then we have usd then we have gold on the other side uh, as you can see uh, gold is currently also in consolidation at it, as it waits for market features to decide on where it wants to go uh, because as you as i as i kept on telling you previously uh with the, the 10 year bonds going up gold has been going down because investors have, have been pulling their money out of volatile assets into more safer assets so that's why you can see gold going down uh towards this side but uh on the news yesterday you can see gold shot up uh and yeah probably you can see if it continues if the news is continue continues to be grim but i don't think it will be grim for long because if you remember the uk's uh, astrazenka thing for the for the blood clots uh, i didn't it didn't affect them as much it slowed down their their growth but it did not affect them for for long so probably by uh, the beginning of next week because you know americans like you know hyping everything up so it will be a big deal for for, for this week then next week new test will come out and start saying you know eh, uh, this and that uh the the, the the vaccine is good uh the vaccine only affects people of certain ages that that as they said with the astrazenka in the european side so anyway so 
uh, new trade ideas. Uh, I have not shifted my trade ideas from the euro USD. In short, uh, f- against the dollar, weakening or strengthening, I have not changed my bias towards it. But I'm just waiting for this volatile mo- moment to change, to 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 settle down because uh, it may take you out uh, because of you know some creepy creepy things. Volatility sometimes is not your friend if you if you are not sure on where the market is trending. As you can see, this is just a consolidation. And when the market is in consolidation, it does not care which side you are on. It can take you out uh, instantly. So, yeah, I think that's it for uh, this uh, video. I hope that uh, you check on inflation. Uh, it's up by almost uh, 0.9%. Uh, gold is on the is 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 trying to come up since the U.S. ten-year bonds have started slumping. But I've told you it's just a simple uh just as the Astra, AstraZeneca. But as you can see, the German index has been flourishing ever since. So yeah, that's it for today's video.